So I want to make one little note here that involves both SN1 and SN2 reactions, and that is the unreactivity of what I'm going to term sp2 halides. So when your halogen is attached to an sp2 carbon, as in both the vinyl and aryl or aromatic halide that I show below here. So notice in both cases that carbon is sp2 hybridized, and as a result, both SN1 and SN2 are not going to occur, but for different reasons. So it turns out SN1 is not going to occur. So if this leaving group just up and left, so it turns out the carbocation that would result would be very unstable. It'd be even less stable than a primary carbocation, and those don't generally form. So this really has zero chance of forming. So in this case, no SN1, because you're not going to form any kind of stable carbocation. Now it turns out you're also not going to do SN2, and the reason here is different. So it turns out if you've got a good strong nucleophile here, if you try to do backside attack on this carbon, the pi electrons here are going to repel that nucleophile keeping it from doing backside attack. So backside attack is completely blocked, so you can't do SN2 either. So can't form a good carbocation, so no SN1. Can't do backside attack, so no SN2. So they're both completely unreactive in both SN1 and SN2 reactions. Now, one thing to note, don't confuse these with two very highly, somewhat similar looking alkyl halides uh, that are again highly reactive, and that's the allylic halide and the benzylic halide here. So, and the key is realizing that the halogen is not attached to an sp2 hybridized carbon, but to an sp3 hybridized carbon. And in this case, uh, one that is adjacent to a pi electron. So in this case, if we formed a carbocation, it would be resonance stabilized in both cases. So, but it turns out even for SN2, we don't form a carbocation, there's no resonance, but it, there will be some delocalization, some, some sideways overlap in the transition state that lowers its energy. So even for SN2, being allylic or benzylic, uh, is especially a good thing, uh, especially fast reaction, as long as it's not tertiary anyways. Um, so don't confuse vinyl with allylic, and don't confuse aryl with benzylic. One completely unreactive, one very reactive.